and to restate our main claim, scientific and commercial animal testing should be prohibited. Uh, firstly, I want to go over what inhumane testing really means. Uh, pain. All procedures, even those classified as mild, have the potential to cause the animal, the animal physical as well as psychological distress and suffering. Uh, according to Dolan, uh, Kevin Dolan, in this context, it may be defined as an adverse sensory experience caused by actual or potential injury, which is accompanied by protective somatic and visceral reactions and induces change in behavior, including socio social social behavior, which can be specific for an individual animal. Um, also, according to Kevin Dolan, reduced weight gain, reduced food and or fluid intake subdued to unresponsive behavior patterns to extraneous activities or when provoked moderate to substantial manifestations of suffering include hunched, distressed or unprovoked vocalizations, ocular nasal discharges, persistent and copious abnormal or labored breathing patterns, self mutilation and persistent compulsion Persistent convulsions all are signs of pain. <coughs> so, as far as human testing is more reliable than animal testing, uh, there is no doubt, according to um, according to neves.com or org, there is no doubt that the best test species for humans are humans. It is not possible to extrapolate animal data directly to humans due to interspecies variation in anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Uh, there are several, several instances where the extrapolation from human tissue culture to other humans is more reliable than from whole animals to humans, since in this method the species difference, <coughs> is, elim the species difference is eliminated. Tissue cultures react to more viruses affecting humans, whereas many species of laboratory animals are insensitive to a number of viruses. Animals also do not get many of the human diseases that people do, such as major types of heart disease, many types of cancer, HIV, <coughs> Parkinson's disease, or schizophrenia. Instead, signs of these diseases are artificially induced in animals in laboratories in an attempt to mimic the human disease, according to uh, Cruelty Free International. Also, according to the Human Human Society International, drug failures and research that never delivers because of irrelevant animal models not only delay medical processes, but also waste resources and risk the health and safety of volunteers in clinical trials. Non-animal tests are more cost-effective, practical, and expedient. An example, the lethal dose 50 also known as LD50, test forces animals to ingest toxic and lethal substances to the endpoint of where 50% of the animals in the study die, and those that do not later are killed. My uh, partner briefly touched upon the Canadian strategy, also known as the thalidomide uh, drug. For the, those babies who survived, birth defects included deafness, blindness, disfigurement, cleft palate, many other internal disabilities, and of course the disability most associated with thalamide, phocomelia. It has been claimed that there have been, there have been between 10 and 20,000 babies born disabled as a consequence of the, the drug thalidomide. There are approximately 5,000 survivors allow, alive today around the world. Thalidomiders are now in their early 50s and they are experiencing physical deterioration due to the stress placed on their body due to body structures further limiting in their abilities, often resulting in new disabilities, therefore com compounding the tragedy. This is not the only case or example of negative results of unreliable animal testing. There are also other drugs known as Glenic, Silert, and Resolin that have also caused severe and fatal, energy, uh, fatal results in humans. For example, Flenic, this NSAID, despite having passed animal toxicity tests in 10 animal species, mice, rats, guinea pigs, ferrets, rabbits, cats, dogs, pigs, horses, and monkeys, produce severe liver toxic toxicity in humans. Silert, 15 children suffered acute liver failure after taking this attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder treatment. And 12 of those cases resulted in liver transplant or death. 17 number animal tests that showed an indication of hepatic toxicity could be found.
as far, far as alternative alternative tests, technology and other innovation provide alternative methods of research and, the rely, and take the reliance off of animal testing. Our main alternative is in vitro direct alternative. This, this is the use of organs, tissue sections, cell cultures, isolated cells, and cell fractions. In vitro methods are being used increasingly in highly varied fields of biomedical research. Direct replacement is replacement, for example, of an in vivo skin test on guinea pigs by an in vitro system based on skin originated from human volunteers or from guinea pigs. Uh, also, examples of other alternatives include mathematical and computer model alternative, examples of computer programs that can be used to simulate the uh, side effects that can occur in humans include case computer ad automated structure evaluation, Top cat toxicity prediction by computer assistive technology, Derek deduction estimation of risk from existing knowledge, compact computer automated molecular parametric analysis of chemical toxicity. Another favorable alternative is the microdosing alternative. This method enables human volunteers to be safely substituted for animals in some drug tests. It involves giving humans doses of drugs high enough to cause cellular effects but too low for the effects to uh, affect the entire body. Uh, this is according to Ethics and Medical Research with Animals. And uh, as far as cost and time difference, uh, in vitro international's course detects synthetic skin can provide a chemical corrosivity determination in as little as three minutes to four hours, unlike animal testing that often takes two to four weeks. Uh, the traditional testing of chemicals using animals can take up to five years per substance and cost millions of dollars. While non-animal alternatives can, can take um, in as little as a week for a fraction of the cost. Thank you.